Hello guys, this is Tahir and today we will talk about areas and costs in Navmesh. So if you didn't see the previous video, I talked a little bit about Navmesh, how to set it up and uh, how to tweak the agent settings. So today I will talk a little bit about areas and costs. So I have uh, added these two obstacles next to my arc. So now it's a door and I have made this obstacle a little bit bigger. So I'm going first to hit back and see how it looks. So now this is how it used to look. But now if I hit back, as you can see, uh, the agent can only go to this area through the door. Okay, so the two things I'm going to do are, first I'm going to put a mask on this door so only uh, specific agents can go through it. And the other one is, is making the cost on the water high. So that means that the agent would prefer to walk on the plane even though it's gonna take longer time. So let's start with the first scenario here. So I'm taking these two scenarios from the documentation in Unity. So it says that in these two examples, in the water, to deal with the scenario where walking on shallow water is slower. And the other scenario is like a human can walk through a door, but zombies cannot. So I made the three uh, duplicated agents. For these agents, I'm going to change their mask a little bit. But first, I'm going to click on door here. I'm going to areas and I will create this mask for the door. And then I'm going to my agents and here I'll give it everything so the door is checked but for the zombies I'll uncheck the door so they cannot pass through it. Okay let's test that now. As I mentioned in the previous video they are following this target so I'm going to be controlling this target and they are going to be following it. So let's try. So here's the target and I'm going through the door. <gasps> And uh, the zombies are following. Oh, maybe I didn't set the door to be a door. Okay, so I clicked on the door now. I'm going to object and make the door a door. And let's try that. Going to drag it there and hit play. Woohoo! Okay, what's going on? So the reason that this is not happening is navigation here. Uh, is actually for the plan. So what I did was I created this weird thing under the door because he has to have he has to have something to like be walked on. Now it should be set. Let's try that. What the heck? Yeah, well, because this is uh, walkable and here they can jump, so they took this route. But I mean, this is a good sign. It means it's working. But I'm going to disable this so the zombies won't <laughs> make some cool stuff. So they cannot jump right now. I think they might go there or they might be stuck on the door. So let's see. Yeah, they got stuck on the door. That's nice. So the other thing I'm going to show you is the water, how to make the cost high on the water. I'm going first to make this smaller and take away these two obstacles. I'm going to areas in navigation. I'm going to create water and make the cost really high, like 20. Okay, now if I went to the pool here and I clicked on water, and I clicked bake. Now it's walkable, but it's on a high cost. So here's the sphere now. And if I put the sphere on the water, he would uh, come and like uh, step on the water. But if it was, for example, he was here and it's shorter now to go to the other side through the water. But let's see, he's gonna take the plane, he's gonna walk on the plane uh, because he doesn't like water. Okay, but let's do something real quick. In the navigation here, I'm gonna set a cost to be only two. So now you will see that he would go through the water, but of course he would still pre uh, prefer the land, but it's not very high cost to go on the water. So let's see. Yep, 
as you can see, when it was 20, he would have walked on the land, but now he has not, he doesn't have as much problem now to walk on water. Nice. So this was it for the area and costs. I hope you liked the video. And if you did, uh, please hit like, subscribe, all this good stuff. And see you in the next video. Bye.